Brethren, can we stand at this time? Invite Brother Ashley to come and turn with me to 174. We'll sing the lovely hymn, Make Me More Like Thee. Amen. 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 Jesus, make me more like thee. Attached to it. And some 
have access to this hidden manna. Amen. And others don't. Some eat this hidden manna. And others don't. And we want to know this morning who is this hidden manna given to? Amen. And who is it not given to? Who is able to find it? It's hidden, remember. Amen. Who is it designed for? This hidden manner is a is a substance that causes jealousy. Yeah. It causes hatred. This hidden manner causes hostility. A against B and B against A. When this hidden manner comes into force. We're going to take a great scripture reading this morning. Let's stand as we read the word of God. There's a mark of respect. Revelation 1, 4 to 6. Brother Steve sung that song, I'm feasting on the bread. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay, watch the confirmation swing in here now. Revelations chapter 1, 4 to 6. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. May God add his blessing to his word, and you may be seated as we start to go into this message this morning. Hidden manna. And he says, let's give the interpretation the best we can. Now watch where he goes. What does hidden manna type? See, see immediately he goes into typing. Yes. Right? So to get a good interpretation is to get a good type. What? Yes, amen. And don't mix the type out. Let it run its course. Hidden manna was a manna that was kept in the place of a showbread in the Bible that was only for the priest. Right? How many know that around? that Kentucky and English gets me mixed up sometimes. I would say how many, how many around knows that? <laughs> but he says how many knows that around? But I love that Kentucky English. Amen. Because in it is hidden man. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, see, now it was. They had a bread for the congregation. See that? But there was a special bread for the priest. Is that right? Now that's scriptural, that's Bible in the Old Testament. The hidden man of the showbread was only for the priest. He alone had access to it. Nobody else. Number two, well, what is hidden manner? Hidden manner, the manner that isn't given to all of the congregation. Now number three, look at this one. And watch this just a minute. I say watch this the whole week. Watch this just a minute. The revelation, the hidden man. Amen? Yes. The revelation 
all the hidden man. Oh, let's let's say that together. The revelation, the hidden man. See. And we know that the prophet of God said the bride will be waiting for the revelation. Yes. Amen. See, brother, the Laodiceans are out of the equation here. He said the bride, the true church, will be waiting for the revelation Amen. of the rapture. Yes. Now, important, number four, look. Now, hidden manna is typed to the showbread. The showbread was for the priests alone. That's right. Showbread, look, 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 was just for the priest. Okay? Yes. Anyone outside the priesthood missed out. It was reserved for the priesthood only, specifically set aside. Nobody outside that rank and file could partake of it. Oh, come on, let's stand again as we read this, this next part of this message. This is great. Alright? Listen carefully, read it carefully with me. It is written, He hath made us Oh, there are certain truths we need to emphasize. That's why I asked you to stand. This is one of them. He, hallelujah, He hath made us. Salvation is His duty. Salvation is of the Lord. All of grace. He redeemed us for a purpose. Yes. He bought us for a purpose. We are kings, spiritual kings. Are we going to be kings upon the earth with Him when He sits on His throne? You may be seen. You need to read that over and over again. He hath made us. He hath made us. Revelations 5.10 And has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Yes. And we shall reign on the earth. See? Yes. See, that's in the millennium, right? Mm. Somebody said, Brother Ashley. Brother Ashley says Jesus has come so he puts himself in the millennium. No, I never said that. <laughs> that is a lie, brother. Brother Ashley does not teach we're in the millennium now. He said the atomic bomb is going to clean up the earth for the millennium. Yes. Yeah, right? That's right? And until that happens, the millennium lays in the future. If you believe the millennium's on now, you are tied into Catholicism according to the seventh angel. Amen. Alright, now number five, look. He, hallelujah, hath, hath made us priests and kings unto God. Us, us. Us is plural. Not made me priest and a king, but made us. Right? See that little group there now? He hath made us kings and priests. Number six, there's a whole difference between the church and the bride. Yes. Big difference, brother. And he said that his mystery is only revealed to his beloved bride. That's the only one who could see it. made in this day. A lot of people put up their hands and claim to be in the bride of Christ. But brother, when it comes to this hidden manner, that is for the 
a bride that is bride food. Amen. It is reserved for us, amen, kings and priests. Amen. Oh my. Number seven, look. So, okay, Brother Ashley, there's a difference between the church and the bride. What is it? Number seven. The bride is raptured. Is the difference between the bride and the church. The bride is taken up. Amen. The bride is caught up. Amen. But not the church. The church looks for the rapture. The bride has the revelation of the rapture. Amen. I think that's right, brother. Okay? Yes. And number eight says there is a difference between the church and the bride. There's your equation. When it comes to the hidden manner, brother, you've got the church, the congregation, and you've got the bride, those that have been made priests and kings. Yes, thank you, Lord. That's pretty strong, but that's Hallelujah. the truth. Thank you, Lord. Number nine, look. Here it is. Every man that come to the priesthood, which we're all in the priesthood now, Every man and woman coming to the priesthood. We are the royal priesthood, a peculiar nation offering spiritual sacrifices. See the invisible union of the bride there, you see. The fruits of our lips giving praise to his name. Every one of us are priests that's born again. Amen. 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 Yes. See? See, we've got some good teaching here, brother. Amen. Let's really get into it. And believing the message of the hour proves the new birth. Right? Yes. It's the evidence of the new birth. It's confirmation that you have been born again. Yes. Believing the message of the hour. Yes. yes. See the difference between the bride and the church? Yes. Brother, we're dealing with hidden manner that's not given to the whole congregation. Yes. Number 10, look. And that's why I think today we have not so many rather genuine new births. See, see, what's the reason? Look, it's because the seniors maybe will sympathize with the word or with the person, but they don't want to rot away from the old system that they were in. the new birth or the message <coughs> of the age. <coughs> now, you can take whosoever teaching you want, but I take the prophet's message. I take the prophet's interpretation. Yes. For a prophet is a divine interpreter of the word. Amen. Amen. And he said, the new birth is the message of the age. See, see there you can clearly see the framework of organization. They don't want to come out of it. They want to claim the new birth and still hold on to the old teaching. Babylon is fallen. Amen. And the Bible says has become the habitation of devils. 
a hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's Revelations 8.2. Babylon has become. See, Brother Brennan said the denominations were carriers of the word. Amen. But when the seals were opened, it's a whole new Bible. It's a whole new interpretation. It's a whole new doctrine. And then the denominations fall into a cage of every foul and unclean bird. Brother, it's a cage. It's a hole in ten. Denominations in the shower is a prison for Carnival Bay. Yeah. It's a holding pen. Oh my. Well, Brother Brennan, what is the new birth? It's the revelation of Jesus Christ personally to you. Amen. 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 That's the new birth. Number 11. You must be born again. And every man or woman that's born again in the Spirit of God has a right for this day the man. Amen. Hallelujah. See, brother, you won't get it in the old systems. You won't get it in the message churches. No, 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 no. Get that out of your mind. You won't get it in the denominations. You have to come out from among them yes. to partake of this hidden manna. Amen. Amen. Number 12, I will hide him away. And I will give him the hidden things. The world on the outside of the curtain don't know nothing about it. Hallelujah, he says. Though they eat manna, see they eat it, but they don't know about this. I will give him the hidden manna. Amen. Amen? Yes. See the difference? They eat manna. But brother, I desperately want the hidden manna. Yes, amen. The secret things. I want the revelation of the hour. I want the revelation of the rapture. Amen. I want the revelation of his coming, which is as a thief in the night. Yes. That's made known to the invisible bride. Amen. Okay, number 13. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and he will be my son. I will be his God. And listen, I, personal pronoun, will give him of the hidden manner. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh, I like that. Number 14. Watch what the overcomer has promised. See? Now, now, lay this here. That's the last church age. There's going to be some overcomers in there. It's a promise. Number 15, look. Overcomers only. And overcome the beast, overcome his mark. That's Catholicism, Protestantism, and denominationalism. Who overcomes the beast, his mark, the letter of his name. Are you ready? Let's make this as simple as we can, he said. Are you ready? Are you listening? To partake of this hidden manner, you have to overcome the message churches. <laughs> yes, amen. You say, no, 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 Brother Ashley, don't. Don't, don't touch them. Alright, well, I want to ask you a question. You tell me which one is right. Which one has the hidden man? I'll be there. But there is so much division among the churches now. It's diabolical.
They won't fellowship one with another. They proselyte from morning to night. I've heard of a sister in Perth that received a phone call. I think there's special meetings taking place next week. Some church has got two preachers coming from overseas. And the phone rings and, oh sister, we have some special meetings. Won't you come along? See the proselyting that goes on. Who cares if there's only two or three in a meeting? Who cares? if we haven't got a great big congregation. <coughs> the main thing is, he can Amen. 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 Yes. Let me have the hidden manner. But it's only promised to those who can overcome. Amen. Yes. Number 16. Here it is in Science Magazine. Where? They can't understand it. They don't know what it is. See, I, I've been sitting this week, last night I was sitting listening to, to uh, I've got names written down here, but I'm not going to mention the names of people on, on the internet, out in cyberspace, tacking and hacking the message. We're going we're to get into it. fellow that went to a message church for 32 years. Well known. Great, massive web page. You know, he takes the picture of the pillar of fire above Brother Branham's head and he transfers it over to his web page. And it becomes symbolic to his web page. And he said, I believe he was the prophet of Malachi 4, but no longer. I now have the truth. It's true. This is major. And you know what? Well-known preachers, I've got their names written down here, have been sucked into that web page. And are now denying that the cloud was anything supernatural. It's out there on the web. It's inside the space. They can't understand it. They don't know what it is. But to us, hallelujah, it's hidden manna. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Tucson. At the university, a friend of mine went over the other day and was talking to him about it and said, we can't understand what. I said, don't say nothing. Won't do no good. Cast not your pearls before swine. See? It's to the church, to the elected, the called out. Oh my! It's for the priesthood. Hallelujah! He hath made us priests Amen. unto our God. Oh, that's clear teaching, brother. Amen. That's clear teaching, sister. I will give him the hidden manner. Now look, number 17. But there's silence for a half an hour. But there's something that took place. <coughs> I'm expecting him to reveal it. He will do it. I'm satisfied he will. He'll give that hidden manner to his elect. Amen. I will show him the hidden things. Amen. Went west for the blast, returned back to the east with the Holy Spirit interpreting this unwritten word. Oh my. Brother, we need the Holy Spirit to interpret the word for us. Yes, true. Otherwise, we're not going to understand it. You'll never be able to put it together. Too much is said in the seventh angel's message to understand it intellectually. Amen. 
throughout the message churches that since the opening of the seals there's always been a little handful, a little group off to one side that believed the seventh seal was the coming of the Lord. Amen. Way back in Africa in 1968, Brother Peter stood and Emmanuel Gospel said to him, he said, I stood right in the tabernacle when the seventh seal was preached. When it was finished, he said, the people come outside and everybody was looking at one another saying, what was all that about? Did you understand that, Brother Peter? Brother Peter said, yes. If I told you, you wouldn't believe it. It was the coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 And from that time to this very day, there has been a pocket of believers that have taken on board the coming of the Lord. Amen. Feasting on the hidden manna. Hallelujah. Number 22. This is a special bread, a special bread, hidden manna. What is it? Who is our manna? Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Alright, St. John 6, chapter 48 and 50th verse. If you're putting it down, it says Jesus said he was. The bread of life that come from God out of heaven. The manna. Hmm. And what about the mighty angel that come down in the days of the voice of the seventh angel? Only Christ it could be the hidden manna. Hmm. Number 23, Jesus, hallelujah, is the hidden manna. Christ is the church's manna. See, brother, multitudes know about the cloud. But the priesthood knows it was Jesus. Amen. That's right. The priesthood knows but Acts 1 9 says the same Jesus that was taken up will come in like manner. Amen. It's our Lord up there. <coughs> to see Jesus himself there in the skies, only Christ it could be. Number 24, the world, the world knows nothing about it. That's right. You're eating want to raise you off your seat. Amen. Yes. The world never knows nothing of it. You're an eagle. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Number 25. He hid his coming. What? He hid his coming. He hid Jesus from the Pharisees, then students of the scripture. <coughs> The world knows nothing about this hidden manner. But the world does know about the earthquakes that are escalating. The world does know the destruction and disasters that are taking place. The whole world knows about the Oklahoma typhoon that happened this past week. Winds faster than 320 kilometers an hour. Never recorded on earth before. The world knows that. London witness slaughter on the streets. Amen. That's right. The world knows about that. Sodomites. Oh my have penetrated every corner of the globe in our schools in our workplaces in our governments, in our families among the entertainers 
right in the churches, in the army and in the navy, in the police forces. It's sodomized to the core. The world knows about that. Cities, look, have become crime saturated, polluted, drug infested ghettos are everywhere. Money systems are crumbling. There's prop ups, handouts, bailouts taking place everywhere. But the priesthood, hallelujah, knows that is the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. Number 26. He would have to do the same thing he did. That's his way of doing things. He'd have to show himself the way he did then. Hebrews 13, 8. Paul speaking to the Jews said, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today and forever. This fellow on cyberspace on the net says, that was one of Brother Branham's most potent scriptures. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today and forever. He said it was what he built his healing campaigns on and his miracles on. And then he stops. But I want to say that's when he also built the message on. Amen. Yes. Therefore, he must be the same in principle. The same in power. The same in everything that he was. He must be the same today. Amen. Hallelujah. If he hid his coming then, he'll hide his coming now. Amen. For he's yesterday, today, and forever the same. Amen. Yes. Oh, look at number 27. Because the seventh seal there was silence, no one knew that was the minute or the hour that Christ would come as He revealed it to them. No. Oh. No. As He revealed it to us. Hallelujah. He has made us priests and kings Amen. unto God. Us, you, us. Amen. Oh, can you see that? How much plainer can it be? Number 28. We thank you today for the opportunity to worship thee. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I can come along to this little hall and sing a few songs, read the word. We thank thee for a church and for a people and for the brethren of like precious faith. Hmm. Now we ask that you will give us the desire of our hearts today that is to serve you. Feed us. Amen. Yes. With that hidden manna that you said is in the Bible was given. Look, look, look. That was laid back just for the priesthood only. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. The congregation knows nothing about this in manner. To see Jesus himself there in the skies. The one that died in Calvary. Amen. Standing now in the skies. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> he, has a little, he has a little something to, to help you along the way. Number 29. Let's read it carefully. When he came on earth, he was a sign of destruction. The Jew, how they got away, complicated the religion of Judaism until the poor people couldn't understand it. Why? They had to have a degree. 
And they made it all so complicated till the poor people just emptied their pockets of money into the treasury and so forth. And they didn't even understand the services. Because they were taught in different high-toned orthodox Judaism and so forth until they couldn't understand. And Jesus came to the poor people as a sign. What's that one? It's got to stay the same. Amen. Yesterday, today and forever. See, it's got to be high polluted. It's got to be real doctor of divinity stuff. But brother, give me that old broken Kentucky English. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. That's what I want. Now what am I trying to say? You say Jesus was a sign the preaching to the poor. No, that's a sign of His coming. That's what He said Himself. He said, God show John these things, the lame walk, the blind see, the deaf hear, and the poor. Amen. Has the gospel preached unto them? Not the rich now, the poor. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Has the gospel preached unto them? Number 10. Look at the text there. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, mm -hmm. preached 961, Hebrews 38. And we notice that his congregation come from the poor people. The outcasts, the ones that was probably cast away, didn't have much education. Yes. Oh, he said in Jezebel religion. He said that little group that's so faithful and does everything they can to have a meeting. He said, you think you're having a hard time? He said, but remember God's got his eye on you. Hallelujah. And I thought of this little hall. We haven't got much to display. Paul brings his vacuum cleaner every Sunday and vacuums the carpet. Pulls the chairs out, old rickety chairs. My wife gets the old organ ready with a broken stool. And the old pulpit is falling apart. We've got nothing, nothing to brag about. Brother Steve brings a cheap old camera to, to make a video. Here we've got a, a speaker tied up, just balancing itself. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> but a group like that is a sign to this generation. Yes. Amen. The poor have the gospel preached unto them. That's right. Who are the biggest recipients of the message? Poor people in Malaysia, Indonesia, in Africa. It's a sign of his coming, he said. Number 31, you say, well, why is it that the message don't go out in these great big places, these big crusades like among the denominations? No, brother, it doesn't go out to the rich dudes. It goes to the poor. go out there into the great big message churches. And there's big ones, brother. Believe me, there's big ones. You said it's not their food, it's not the church so-called food, it's the bride food. Amen. It's spiritual food in season. Hallelujah. It would make them sick at the stomach. It's too rich for them, CC. You can't do it. No matter how much you try, you can't do it. But for the children, hallelujah, it's bread. See that song Brother Steve sung this morning? Yes. 
I'm feasting on the bread. Hallelujah. But it's for the children that bread is life. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. The same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. Though they eat manna, they don't know about this. We've got something here, brother. Right here. Amen. That the church knows nothing about. Yes. Thank you, Lord. There it is, number 32. They don't know what it's all about. The scientists. Oh, let's read some more. Let's read some more. Food in due season. Spiritual food. Something the world knows nothing of. said, Master, why don't you eat? He said, I have food that you know not of. That's the food we want. Amen. Amen. And Father, so is it today. The church, the true believer, the body of believers has access to food. Hallelujah. Spiritual food. Look, 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 look. <laughs> That's the nominals. See that? Know nothing about. The world knows nothing of this food, Father, but your church, your people, the bride of your Son, loves it. Amen. 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 The nominals, the outsiders, the great big churches that surround us know nothing of this hidden manna. It's not given to the whole congregation. It's alone reserved for the priesthood. Ooh. Amen. Number 32, there it is, there it is. They don't know what it's all about. The scientists are trying to. Anybody got the picture of it? All in a cloud, a cloud, a cloud. 26 miles high in the shape of a pyramid. Seven angels representing there. Brought back and brought you the word of God. Under the inspiration. It tells you, it tells you, it tells you, it tells you. These hours that you're coming and living in. Oh, there's nothing to it. <coughs> we proved that it was a, a rocket that took off from a base in California. And it drifted all the way to Tucson, Arizona. Go and consult the gurus. Go and consult the scientists. Great big message preacher. Walked into a bar room or some hotel and there was a, a scientist. He used some intellectual name for drinking. He said, tell me, you wrote this article, tell me what it's all about. Brother, I would never go and consult a scientist. Consult the Holy Ghost, amen. amen. He is the one that feeds the man the inspiration there on it, brother, if you can take it. It's a rocket. The prophet of God said there was no rocket. Depends who you want to believe. Oh my. Number 33. And you can hardly but just feel sorry for the people and the eyes being blinded to this day. When the scripture that God has promised that would come to pass right in this day, in this hour, and we're looking right at it and watching it, daily watching it, amen. We've seen the disasters breaking out on the face of the earth, see, waxing worse and worse and worse. And then people look and shake their heads and walk away and say, I don't see it. It's a pathetic thing. But yet the scripture is what to be fulfilled. It must be that way. Yes, amen. You're totally confused, my friend, unless you've partaken of the hidden manna. Yes. Oh, that, that nails it. Amen. Yes. Number 34, every mystery of the Bible lays in these seals. Number 35, now you remember the voice said, go to Tucson? 
Remember the mystic light in the sky, the seven angels standing there? Come back and the opening of the seals, watch what taken place. That's true, or that is true. And he said, and the seven seals were opened at the tabernacle the other day. The preacher said, I went over to Africa and I showed them that the seven seal has not yet been opened. Oh my. Oh my. See, see, brother, it's not their food. They'll never get it. But, after saying the seven seals were opened in the tabernacle the other day, he said, but now he's promised us a full square meal for a full seven course meal or menu for all the seven seals are opened and everything is ready for the word of God to those who can receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're feasting on that bread, brother. We're feasting on hidden manna. Yes. It is strictly dried food reserved for the priesthood. Yes. Amen. He hath made us priests and kings by shedding his precious blood on Calvary. Number 36. Many things that way. Watch, 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 watch this now. God has designated for certain people to see and others cannot see. Oh, I love that. When God in His infinite wisdom has predestinated or foreordained for certain things to happen. When they happen, the priesthood said, there it is, there it is. The nominal say, we can explain that away. He said it could happen to the person sitting right next to you. <coughs> You'll know nothing about it. See, one sees the revelation. And that same revelation becomes complicated to others because of injection of intellectual knowledge. Hidden manner, the manner that isn't given to all the congregation. Look what he said in 1965. It will close the eyes of every theologian when he comes for his bride. She'll be taken up in the middle of the night as it was then or as it was to them. They won't even see her go. Oh, praise be to God Amen. for the hidden manner. Amen. Amen. And number 38. This Bible and His Word in the hour that we live is shining upon those to catch the eternal life. Those who are predestinated to see it. And it won't do one bit of good upon the rest of them. It's reserved for the priesthood only. Yes. Oh, don't you enjoy that message? Amen. Number 39, look. The rest of them mm, will never see it. They'll never know nothing about it. Amen. See, brother, one word against the revelation that is broken forth, and you're finished. You're gone. You've blossomed. And you will never, ever be able to receive hidden manner. God Amen. bless you. I'm glad I'm feasting on that manner. Amen. Amen in the name of you. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, brother. Can we just stand, brother? Look. Amen. 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 Less than 256, brother, and we'll sing the lovely hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise God.